Hello and welcome back to the Watchworks. This is going to be kind of a uh, rough and ready video here. Just a quick overview of uh, my clock collection here. This is most of them. Uh, I have the video clock up there. Yeah, I got my desk cleared off. Um, you know, in the process of packing and all that. So there you go. There's a bit of behind the scenes, the desk I film at. I'm not opening that because it's a mess in there. Uh, back on topic. Uh, these are my clocks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was about to cough there. Um, <clears throat> geez, still recovering from a cold. I guess I'll start in the back here. This is just kind of an overview. Uh, so yeah, not going to be the best video. That back there is a Big Ben Style 1A. You can see my mouth there. <laughs> That's a Linden Tiny Time. I'll move that out of the way. Here it is. Linden Tiny Time. Y'all saw that. I did a video on this one. Little electromechanical clock. That out of the way. There's also this one that I repaired. This one usually chills on my nightstand. And I don't want this one to fall, so I'll also move it. This is a Style 5 Big Ben. That Or Baby Ben. That would be a small Big Ben. <laughs> Uh, Style 5 Baby Ben, uh, I worked on this, or I didn't do it on video, but I did show off the movement on a short. So that one, uh, I've had that kicking around in my parts bin for <sighs> since 2020. I think October 2020 is when I got it. <laughs> Only recently got around to uh, <clears throat> getting it together and going. I actually had two, and I uh, traded one for a pocket watch along with a clock service, so that was pretty neat. I have some West Clock Ironclads back here. Uh, moving up to their namesake, uh, they are cast iron clocks. Uh, these would have had a copper, I think sort of a copper oxide finish that was popular back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. I think these are from the 19-teens. They have just a little dinger bell on the bottom. Uh, very similar to these, actually. They might be the same, maybe even use the same punch press for this. This is a much newer West Clock. That's from the 90s. <laughs> Newest West Clocks I own. Not really <coughs> good quality, <laughs> as uh, most of their end-of-the-line stuff was. Style 6 is back there, Style 6 Big Bends. Both chime alarms. One of them is a, I guess you would call it a resto mod. It has a Style 5 chime alarm movement in it. I like the Style 6 case, but the Style, the style 5 um, movement is much better quality, um, way more serviceable. There is a West Clocks Electric little alarm clock thingy. <laughs> uh, electric. I converted this to quartz, don't yell at me. Um, tried rewinding the motor and I even tried finding replacements uh, and had no look at that. And this thing is in very sorry shape anyway. Uh, I kept the original hands and put a sweep, constant sweep movement in it. So it keeps, it keeps actually pretty decent time. I don't like quartz clocks, but um, it's better than throwing this away because uh, that's where it was destined to go. Not anything desirable. Put that out of the way. Little German Trago alarm forest fill. So, <clears throat> hopefully, at some period in time, these will have their individual video. Here's a Style 2 West Glocks. Um, oh man, what is it called? Yeah, Spur. <laughs> Couldn't remember the name there. These, ironically, are uncommon. The Style 2A Spur <coughs> seems to be more common. <coughs> Excuse the coughs. Style 2A Spur has a weird extra base on it, and this is the original Style 2 Spur, so yeah, very interesting. Kind of like the Big Ben, uh, original Big Ben's. This is a... Let's see here. All this is kind of crammed in here. This is a... Let's see here. A Lux. One of those Lux novelty clocks. Um, this one's kind of in the style of a carriage clock, which is cool. 
Uh, I did redial this one because uh, the original dial was trashed. This is just some cheesy clock dial that I found online and printed out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, jeez. It's kind of blurry. I'd like to find a better print or maybe even get a proper template. I don't, I don't know. But uh, there's that. There's the back of it. So, celluloid. Uh, those are fun. I have a parts one. In fact, I had to part it out to repair that one. This one here is a Waterbury Thrift. There we go. Simple tin can. It's also pretty fun. This one was in left for dead condition, to say the least, on Etsy. Uh, maybe if I do a video on it, I can show some pictures of what it looked like beforehand. It was... <coughs> It was quite sad. Uh, this is a Style 5 Big Ben Chime Alarm. You can see, so it's, it's very similar to, let's see, this one, it looks just like this one, the base does. Uh, except, obviously, it's a Big Ben variant. Uh, and at some point in time, someone took like 70 grit sandpaper to the darn thing. No clue why they would do that. Uh, they did it to the base with that trim and everything, so that do looks terrible. Uh, I've done some repainting. It was last summer, I think I did that. There was a prototype style 5 that had a butler finish, you know, which is a brushed finish. Uh, I would have actually tried doing that, just because this thing's already pretty scratched up. If the base had nickel plating, <coughs> but it's just bare pop metal see me in the reflection there. Style 7, or Style 8 Big Ben. Obviously, they didn't have a chime alarm version of these. It was just loud alarm. Although, they had a Big Ben repeater, I think, in the uh, foreign markets. I live here in the U.S., and I don't think we had Big Ben repeaters here. This is a West Clocks Kiwi. Uh, it's an Australian model here. It uses the Style 66 movement. Uh, I imported that from Australia, so that's pretty neat. It needs hands and other various movement parts. This is a Lux Conqueror. Um, another Lux clock. The, the Lux clocks were pretty cheaply made. They were obviously budget models. Um, this was one of the first clocks I ever got, actually. Um, I'll show you the first clock that I did actually get. This is my second one. Um, this actually did have a minute hand, but it was lost, um, <coughs> I think during some, uh, there's some family conflict, and I, I left, um, one place, and this was left at that place, you know, uh, this was, I thought, gone forever, but, uh, it was recovered, so that's amazing. This yes, here is a Parker, uh, alarm clock, literally what it's called, uh, I got it with that uh, cheesy little, like, toothpick stuck onto there as, like, a minute hand, so that's pretty hilarious. I left that. <coughs> uh, is it called Bell Bottom Alarm Clocks? Because, uh, the bell's on the bottom. That will get a video of its own for sure. Very strange clock. This here is... Uh, an American Hamburg clock company clock, or at least the movements made by that. I wasn't able to find this exact design. This, or this exact clock, this design I've seen before uh, that has the barometer, and this, there would be a, um, a uh, what you call it? a mercury thermometer, I think that's what it's called there, but that was gone when I got it. And that's a watch hand I stuck on there. That That is not accurate. That's also pretty foobard. Someone stuck a new uh, barometer module in there at some point. One of my most recent acquisitions, this Apollo 2, or Apollo Mark 2, that is uh, made by the Lux time division of uh, Robert Shaw Controls, I think. So I guess Robert Shaw Controls bought them out. Yeah. 
This here is a little Bradley alarm, another little German travel alarm thingy. Uh, this one's quite neat though. Oop. Got this at an antique store. It was like a couple bucks. <laughs> Ironically, I was missing the taper pin and it was packed full of dust, but uh, replacement taper pin and uh, clean and surface and it runs fine. That right there is the clock of tomorrow. Uh, I did a in-depth video on that one too. That's a pretty fun one that usually resides on my nightstand also. Uh, these two are Baby Ben Style 7s. This one is the 1975-76 to re-release. Uh, usually this would have that style hand, except it didn't have the little decorative um, bushing there. It was just bare. Uh, it being from 1975, they were pretty cheaply made. Um, base metal, bezel as in steel, nickel, er, so you just uh, saying nickel plated, brass plated steel, or maybe even just a brass lacquer or brass or gold colored lacquer. Not sure. Here's the back. Plastic key, only the finest. Plastic base, once again, only the finest. Also missing the little medallion there. I have that somewhere. This is also in my parts bin. Still trying to find the parts for it again. Some may be accidentally packed away already. This is my OG Style Seven. Uh, two key from 1956, I think. Uh, first year of production, if I remember correctly. Oh, let me move this out a little bit. Um, two keys. This is a fun one. Actual brass bezel, by the way. Uh, that could take note from from that. <laughs> but yeah, in 75, the Style 7 was long dated, so this must have been a pretty dated clock. I guess it was pretty cheap. It was a budget model in uh, 75, 76. This is a uh, Scottish Baby Ben Style 7. I did a video on this one between, or between this one and the American Style 7s. <coughs> uh, this is a Baby Ben Style 1. Very cute little clocks, uh, very small. Uh, here's my thumb compared to the clock. <laughs> Don't mind my fingernails. I'm not working. This is the first ever alarm clock I got. This was 25 cents at a church sale a long time ago. Um, I remember I spray sprayed WD-40 in the sucker and used it for three years to wake me up for school. I was like in middle school. Um, obviously now I've graduated. But yeah, this is a Fashion Bright Baby Ben Avocado. Once again, I'll do videos on all of these and go more into depth here. In fact, I'm already getting a bit carried away talking about some of these. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. It's already over 13 minutes in. West clocks, um, travel clock. I want to get a uh, Pickwick. Um, I'll demonstrate this further in its own video. There you go. Uh, the Pickworks are cool. I don't mind these. These are super common. Um... Like, these are pretty cool, actually. A Bakelite with brass trim. Um, West Clocks Baby Ben uh, Deluxe Model, Style 8, all nickel. Another uh, Style 1 Baby Ben. This one here actually works, although ironically it's missing all the alarm stuff. Uh, the, alar the, the, movement, er, the movement is complete, it's just missing the controls and the and, and meanwhile, this one is that one I did the series on. This is incomplete. I have this reassembled for moving. I still need a hairspring for it, and it still needs a proper clean. Uh, just the case is polished up. It looks pretty good. Uh, and the last one here, I guess. Wow, I've went through all these. Style 4 Baby Ben. I call this the Garden Shed Special because when I got it, it looked like it came out of a garden shed where it resided for like 40 years. <laughs> uh, it was super rusty, all the paint was flaking off, and you can see it's basically all bare. Even the nickel plating is in a kind of sad shape. Uh, this thing does run like a champ though, uh, even that glass survived. I'm amazed it doesn't have any chips. Uh, as you can tell, some of these are a bit worse for wear. Not even all these are serviced. 
um, but they all run. I don't run my clocks unserviced, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I only run the serviced ones, and you can see I have so many, I think I counted 27 or something, uh, that, yeah, it's, it's more of a hassle to keep all them wound. I used to, believe it or not, uh, these ironclads don't run, though. Or, one of them does, just the, uh, click springs in them, I need to recut click springs. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be about it. Um, and yeah, down there's some, uh, soldering iron stuff that's unrelated. Uh, there's my soldering station, actually, also. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, my clock collection. I have some other stuff here. Uh, but I, that will do it for this video.